Good morning, Wilson. Happy Friday. Today I'm excited. We're getting our fundraiser kicked off today. Uh, during fourth hour today, you're going to watch a video explaining a lot about the fundraiser. Please pay attention. All this money goes towards our end of the year events. It goes towards our school improvement, uh, things around the building, and it's going to go towards our PBIS program. So please help us out and fundraise what uh, the items that we're using. You're going to get an envelope in your sixth hour. It looks like this. And what we're doing is we're going to, inside the envelope is a packet of what we're selling. And this is stuff a lot of people like. We're selling cookie dough. We're selling cheesecakes from the Cheesecake Factory. We have pretzels. There's a lot of variety of things in here. Uh, take this home and fill this out. Now, as you're go if you, there's an online component too, what your parents got received an email on. So you can either fill that out or an online, online component. Um, just some important dates. Our sale ends Thursday, September 30th. Um, and this will be sent home with you also. It tells you what you can earn. If you sell one item, you get one of our uh, Kung Fu Coops. Uh, three items. You get to throw a ball at a pitch burst with the teacher or principal sitting underneath it. It's usually a really cold morning. Uh, if you sell five items, and this is the goal. At the end of the year, we are going to get back to our Rolling Hills Water Park end of the year uh, field trip. So if you sell five items through there, if you sell eight items, uh, we're going to enjoy some Kona Ice trucks going to come by. Fifteen items, we have a money wheel. You're going to get your luck uh, and spin the wheel and see how much money you can earn uh, for that. And our top seller in each grade is going to win three tickets to the Airborne Adventure Park in uh, Taylor, Michigan. So please help out. These are what you'll earn. Uh, we are also having a house competition and the house with the most uh, sales will uh, get a pizza party uh, for all the whole house. So sell, 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 sell. Help out our school by selling. Uh, and we're looking forward to that. You'll hear more about that fourth hour. You'll get those packets sixth hour. Remember, five items is the goal. Have a good Friday, and we'll see you around the halls. It's a great day to be a warrior. So Friday the 17th, the lunch is Bosco 6 with, what does that say? The marinara sauce. Marinara. Now for some sports news. So this last Wednesday, not only was cross country in action, but so was the football team. So let's talk about the cross, cross country real fast. So first off, the top boys that finished the cross country meet were Connor Ball, Jackson Balm, Gavin Desirosis, and then the top girls was actually Eleanor Grant, finished first overall, and then Lorelai Harris, and then Elena Reitenberg. I'm going to apologize right now because some of these students I haven't had in class, so I'm sorry if I mispronounced your names. But good job, everybody involved with cross country. Keep up the good work. And let's talk about football now. So for the eighth grade team, they looked really strong at the scrimmage. Um, some standouts were Thomas Valerio, Stephen Marito, and Chris Luna. Again, those kids, keep up the good work. And everyone else, just continue on. We're going to be talking about on Monday who we're going to be facing that week. And then the seventh grade team, um, they also did an, an outstanding job at the scrimmage. Um, they only played against one team. The eighth grade played against two. But the seventh grade, they played against one other team. And the standouts from that game were Cole Klein, Logan Kaminsky, Connor Turner, and honestly, the whole starting O-line did a pretty decent job with stuff. So again, we we're also looking great on defense, and we got tons of stuff to improve on, tons of things to keep working at, because we got an opponent next week, and we got to make sure that we're ready. So go Warriors, great job, let's keep it up. Woo! Some public service announcements from the Wilson video crew. As a reminder, make sure if you have to use the restroom, you go to the restroom that is nearest to the class that you're at. We're having students going upstairs and using the restrooms up there when really they're downstairs and there's restrooms right across the hall from where their classroom is. Um, yeah, so use the closest restroom because you gotta be in there and you gotta be learning. Getting knowledge. Knowledge is power. Speaking of bathrooms, these are school's expectations for them. If, before you enter the bathroom, make sure you check in with the staff member outside of the bathroom. If you have a phone, 
Leave it on the table. When you're in the bathroom, please don't flush any objects down the toilet or draw on the walls. And especially make sure you wash your hands. If the bathroom is messy when you walk in, please let one of the aides know as soon as you leave. Kids Clubs will meet on September 22nd, 815 to 845. Please arrive at the sixth grade entrance doors for club meeting. If you have any questions, see Ms. Rose for more. Are you a budding photographer? Would you like to take pictures? Then consider the Shutterbug Photography Club. Our first meeting is 9.23 to 2.50. 3.30 in the LRC is open to all Attention students. Attention students, if you would like to be in morning announcements, and you're looking to highlight different talents that our students have, please film yourself showing us what you can do. Also, you can airdrop these videos to Mr. Mellon before your first hour class starts. Remember, I hope you brought some money today, spare money, coins, paper money, all of it's really accepted. Heck, you can even write a check if you wanted to. But what we're trying to do is we want to go ahead and have a miracle minute because we're going to have visitors coming to your classroom collecting that money sixth hour to help block out cancer. It's to support the blackout cancer initiative that we have going on at the high school. So give generously and do the right thing. Have a great day. And now, let us stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all.